Here are your on-the-go headlines. United States and China strengthens their relations. Land Transportation Office removes stencil plane renewal. Inflation drops to 6.1%. A salute to a super dad. Good afternoon, Philippines and Central Luzon. I'm E.J. Palwa. And I'm Nicole Padi. Today is June 15, 2023. This is Scope On Air, bringing you top news stories around the globe. United States and China agreed to strengthen their relations despite of disputes. The United States and China discusses the differences and are looking forward to improve their bilateral relations. According to China's Foreign Ministry and United States Department, they agreed to maintain an open line of communication and build on recent high-level diplomacy despite their ongoing tension in Taiwan. Meanwhile, on Monday, the Land Transportation Office issued a memorandum circular number to a memorandum D2023-2019 in accordance with the Republic Act 11032, also known as the Ease of Doing Business and Efficient Government Service Delivery Act, the agency meant to streamline its processes to ensure the effective and efficient delivery of its service to the public. In an interview with Ray Makapinlak, a car owner, we asked him if he agreed with the removal of chassis and stencils. Para sa akin, kung pap, hindi ako papayag dahil mang, ang sasakyan mawawala pa, hindi mo paparehistro pag wala chassis number. Ano yung, pang, ano yung papasok nyo registro sa LTO? Kasi sa LTO nakapasok to. Yung chassis number niya ito, pa, yun ang nire-register sa LTO. Inflation has dropped for four months in a row to 6.1%. For the details, the Philippine Statistic Authority reports that due to expectations for the fourth consecutive month, the rate of increase in the prices of goods and services that household frequently buys way down, reaching 6.1% in May. Renzel, how is the inflation dirt in Santa Rita public market? Jake, the meat products used are in the public market can be used in price. Like chicken, so we have to be equal to 170 pesos. And beef from the market, we have to be equal to 150 pesos. While pork, the beef is priced at 890 pesos. The vegetables, especially olives, the prices increase to 180 pesos per kilo. Thank you, Renzel. We'll be right back after this short reminder. Since the schools are closed because of the pandemic, the students relied on screen as their primary tool for learning as well as their entertainment. It can lead to lower psychological well-being. This can go towards creating the motivated learners who are unable to give 100% to the work they are doing, resulting in lower academic achievement. a father, and a provider. Kenneth Ocampo Manta, a third-year bachelor of secondary education student, is a father to a four-year-old daughter who supports his son for his business and part-time event organizer. Kenneth is a stylist and also an events host to provide for his son, Eros Jordan Manta. There are times that he is hired as a choreographer for school competitions which help him to finance his schooling. We interviewed him and ask him about how difficult it is to be a father while also studying and running a business. Uh, actually, being a father is not an easy job because whenever you think the responsibilities and the challenges, of course, uh, it is not that easy. Like, uh, for example, in my situation that time, I don't have job and I don't have that business. Then. Actually, I didn't know eh, when, uh, when the time is uh, 
that my talent uh, or I don't know when when I don't know when is the time to show my talent. But then my tita told me that uh, you have the potential to be a designer, to be a host. And then that uh, then it start that time um, I uh, I start to um, to uh, to design an event which is my cabario uh, in here in PP Tech. They uh, they are the one who who who, who, who trust in me to that talent and now um, actually uh, during this time uh, this period of time it is not actually uneasy because to be a father to be a father to be a businessman to be a choreographer at the same time to be to be a student it is not easy if 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 you look at to that to that for no uh, you just also need a time management so that you can uh, you can provide the needs of your son to provide the needs of your family at the same time to provide your needs as a student. And those are the top news stories for this day. This has been EJ Palwa and Nicole Balikin. We'll be with you always above and beyond. This is School on Air.